Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we will be talking about a common condition which is known as latent tuberculosis. Now, as we all know, tuberculosis in children is caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now, when a person with tuberculosis of the chest coughs or sneezes, the bacteria would come into the air and when people near to that person are going to inhale that bacteria, the bacteria will go inside the lungs and inside the body. Now, once that happens, if a person has a good immunity, then these tubercular bacteria will not multiply inside the body and hence the person will not develop any symptoms and this state is called as the latent tuberculosis. On the other hand, if the immunity of the person is not as good, these tubercular bacteria are going to multiply inside the body and then the person will develop symptoms such as fever, cough, breathlessness, sputum, blood in sputum, weight loss and few others. And this is called as a tuberculosis disease or active TB. Now there are many questions which parents ask us. So the most common is that do children or adults with latent TB have symptoms? So the answer is no. As we have said, they are absolutely healthy and normal. The other common question which is asked is that, is there any change in the x-rays of patients or children with, with a latent TB? So the x-rays are perfectly normal. Now can a person with a latent tuberculosis go on and develop an active TB disease? Well, yes, that can happen. Now, whenever the immunity of a person goes down, this can happen. So, if a, if a person is undergoing a cancer chemotherapy, if a person has a nephrotic syndrome or any other medicines which suppresses the immunity, that can happen. It can also happen in very young children. So, children less than one year of age, if they, if they acquire a latent TB, then there are very high chances, approximately 50%, that they will go on and develop active tuberculosis disease. In children between 1 and 5 years of age, the chances are approximately 25%. In children who are more than 5 years of age, adolescents and adults, there are approximately 10% chance. Now, if latent TB is there, then do we treat all patients in India? Well, at the moment we don't and the reason is that the reinfection rates are very high. So even if we treat a person with tuberculosis or latent tuberculosis, then he is going to get reinfected in the next few months or years and hence at the moment we do not do that. In what conditions is latent TB treated? So latent TB is treated if there is a household contact or an adult or adolescent who has pulmonary tuberculosis, then we would usually treat the family because there are very high chances of them getting active disease. Or if it's a very young child who has latent TB, as we said, the chances of developing active disease are very high. The other condition would be if a child is undergoing some chemotherapy or the child has nephrotic syndrome or any other condition which lowers the immunity. What treatment is usually offered? So we, we follow the guidelines from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and isoniazid is a medicine which is used for six months. So if there is anyone in your family who has a latent TB or an active tuberculosis disease, do get in touch with your pediatric pulmonologist and take proper treatment. For more information, you can log on to our website ankitparak.com. Thank you.